Hey guys, welcome back. In uh, my previous video, I talked about the array average function. Now, in this video, I want to talk about the arrays mod function. Now, what mod function does is it gives us the value that is most repeated inside an array. Here, in our previous case, we were using the high minus low or range of the candles from the history and then taking an average. But in this case here, uh, most of our code is going to be same. So I'm not going to be retyping it, but I will take it through each line step by step. So in the first one, as you know, we defined our indicator and this indicator will be called as arrays mod function. And this one here, this is the beginning or def definition of our array in which we are defining an array of, let me just go ahead and call this close bar close array. And the beginning is started with var now var makes sure that the array keeps the values that we're passing on to it as we move on from the history so from the very first candle on this chart we're gonna take the close and pass it into our array and as you can see here this gave an error since i just closed the chain the name so this is going to be called bar close and now the value that we want to pass on to this array is the close of each candle because we're going to be taking a mod of this array later in the code so using the array dot push function we have passed on or given this array the close of each candle now if you did not use this var the value that will be passed on will be only this close and it will not keep track of all the bars or all the closes from the previous bar since the beginning so it's a must that you must use var whenever you want to keep your array and uh, as when you want to save the values from the beginning of the chart from the very first candle on the chart so now let me go ahead and go to this line now in this we're saying if bar state is confirmed history that means that if bar is confirmed so we are not taking the real time bar into consideration. We are starting from the most recent bar or second last bar. And then we define our label. Here we give it the X, Y parameters and then other arguments. Now this is important where we're gonna be calculating the mod of an array. So our array mod is going to be, let me just go ahead and change this array mod for close array is okay and then i'm using forward slash n function to start a new line and then after that i give it str2 string so which converts because since this value is going to be float and we want to concatenate it with this string so we used the str2 string function and after that we're going to be using the array mod function okay now using this function we tell PineScript to calculate the mod of this bar close array and after that i have given it the format according to the format of the or tick value of the currency pair so this is how you can calculate the mod of array now let me just go ahead and save it and let's see if we get the mod so as you can see here the mod or the close value that is most repeated in the history from the very first bar in the past till this bar is 1.45926 so the market closed at this level a lot of time because this is the most repeated value inside our array so i hope you were able to understand this function now the second function that we're going to be talking about is arrays median now what arrays median does is it gives us the value of the middle element of an array okay and in this case here most of our function or code is going to be same as we are going to be passing on different values so i'm just going to go ahead and raise median function rename this to arrays median function and then overlay is going to be true because we do want to plot on the top of our chart and the array that we're going to be defining is called volume change okay volume change and after that inside this volume change array we're going to be passing on the value of the volume for each 
bar and the volume of the next bar or previous bar the difference between those volumes so let me just show you what it means so first of all let me just give it the volume change array and the value that we are going to be passing is volume minus volume of previous bar and in order to do that i'm going to be using the history referencing operator that is the square bracket brackets so let me just explain how this code is working so this bar here as you can see is our volume one volume bar because this is the most recent bar and using the history referencing operator this bar here is our volume one bar so we are subtracting the volume of this bar from the latest bar and we are passing on that difference into our array now what we want to do is we want to calculate the median of those volume differences so then i'm gonna be going inside here and inside this label as we did earlier we're going to be calculating the array median okay and then we're going to be passing on our array which is volume from this array from the very beginning of the first kernel till this latest kernel this array dot median function is going to give me the middle value or the middle element that is at the center the value of that element so if i just save it and if i add it to chart we'll be able to see the median so as you can see here the median is this okay minus 23 so volume minus volume one at the very middle bar or the chain volume at the very middle bar or the bar at center was minus 23 so i hope you were able to understand how arrays median function is executed and you can use this function inside your multiple analysis and fundamental and technical analysis i hope you like this video if you have any questions please comment down below and i will love to answer them also don't forget to like share and subscribe see you guys in the next video thank you